Alrighty, what's going on guys? We're here for episode number three of our Pokemon Sapphire Randomized Nuzlocke. In today's episode, we're going to be going to Rustboro City and uh, battling the gym leader. But before we do that, we actually have two encounters that we need to get done. Uh, we're going to give a quick little team recap before any of that. Though, starting off the list, we got Dry Bones the Trap Inch with Arena Trap Gentle Nature, Rock and Bite, and that's about it. Next up on the list, we got our starter, Jaws the Totodile with Torrent and Lax Nature, and he's Rock and Scratch, Leer, and Rage. Next up, we got Oddish the Hibiscus, well, Hibiscus the Oddish, excuse me, who is docile natured with Chlorophyll, and he, the male Oddish, is Rock and Absorb and Sweet Scent. And last but not least, we have Boombox the Exploud, the brave Exploud with Soundproof out of the Hiccups, Rock and Pound, Uproar, Astonish, and Howl. That is it for the team. We do have enough Pokeballs to come here and, and get these encounters, so we're going to do that. I did talk to everybody in the town, and nobody... Oh, hold on. My controller is running for no reason. Why is that happening? I'm not even touching anything. Um, hello? Okay, there we go. It stopped. That was weird. Okay, let's get an encounter here. Enough with the broken game. Oh my god. Hey, we needed a fire type. We needed a fire type. Um, type that in right there. If this... If we can catch this, it'll be huge. Absolutely huge. Go dry bones. We're gonna leave dry bones in there because I know this thing will live a bite. I did a lot that Ember did. Okay, that did absolutely nothing. We're just going to switch out in the jaws because we should be able to lift a scratch and I resist its ember, so. This is the fire water grass core that we were dreaming of, though. It does get a burn, which, I mean, isn't the worst thing considering the fact that we can that halves our, our attack, so we don't have to worry about um, potentially knocking it out. Oof. Crit it, but it's okay because it only went down to the red. That's doing two with the burn. It's doing five. I almost accidentally attacked it again. If we can catch this Houndoom, the team will be looking insanely good. Oh, it broke out. Wow. We don't have any status affecting moves, unfortunately. But. Okay, so I'm just going to heal. I don't want to risk losing Jaws here. That is the last thing we need. We still have 12 balls. I know we can catch this thing. Come on, baby. Let's go. Houndoom added to the squad. The team is looking kind of scary. In a Houndoom pack, the one with the horns ra raked sharply towards the back serves a leadership role. These Pokemon choose their leader by fighting amongst themselves. Okay. I don't think um, Houndoom is a lion. It's a hound, like a like a dog. But we're, oh, why is my controller doing this today? This is really weird, but that, that's what we're going to name him. I don't know what's going on with my controller here. Why is it doing this? What the heck? I might have to switch controllers mid-episode if it keeps doing this. Alright, there we go. If it does it again, I'll just switch. But we're gonna name it Scar from Lion King. And uh, we're gonna run back and heal before we do anything. So we still have one more. Yeah, I'm gonna have to switch controllers. Give me one second real fast. Luckily I have, like, all the controllers in the world on deck. There we go. Now we have a different controller, a better controller, uh, and we're gonna heal up our Pokemon and check out Houndoom while we're at it. We almost have a full team of six. No duplicate typings. I don't usually like to duplicate my typings, but let's check out Scar. It is holding an item. TM6, okay, I mean TM16. Uh, fire Dark, I mean Dark pow, dark Fire. It's got Flash Fire, uh, flash fire which is good. Uh, sassy Nature, which Probably isn't that good, honestly. I don't know what it does. And then we got Leer and Ember. And Howl. Okay, cool. No, I, I am really liking the team. 
right now. Let's check out what TM-16 is. Safeguard? Yeah, ain't nobody want that. But, uh, without further ado, let's get into some battles here with, uh, Dry Bones and Scar, because they need a little bit more XP. And there should be a couple trainers down here that we could battle. I don't think this girl wants to battle, does she? Yeah, no, she doesn't. Also, I need to check. Did I change the... Yeah, okay. I did cha change the tech speed to fast. I realized that it wasn't on fast. So, I did that in order to make the uh, game go by a little bit quicker, but we'll see. Oh my goodness. Okay. We got a Rayquaza. Rayquaza, whatever you want to call it. This is scary. I think Boombox is our best bet here. Wow. Um, what is... Rayquaza have right now. Scary face? Okay, we can deal with that. Is that paralyzed? No, okay, it's a defense drop. Speed drop. Oh, okay, we're chilling. Um, I'm just gonna pound. I don't wanna worry about... Okay, so it does have Twister, which is basically like the base drag move. It only does 8, though. Uh, we're higher level than it, but this is scary, man. Rayquaza, probably the strongest Pokemon you can run into in this game. Uh, he does flinch us out. We can live a crit, so I'm not even worried about it. can live another crit, but we don't need to because we got the Orin Berry on Boombox, so as long as he doesn't flinch us here, we're fine, and we get away from the Rayquaza. That was something that uh, I wasn't expecting, nor would I have uh, appreciated a death to that thing, but uh, luckily we moved past the first real test in the, bat in the uh, Let's Play. Uh, an early game Rayquaza is never something you want to see. Boombox up to level 10. It's quickly becoming one of the better Pokemon on the team as they send out an Executor. This is perfect for Scar. Uh, we literally wall anything he wants to do here. Grass type, Psychic type, we got it. It's level 5, which scares me. But I'm going to see what an Ember could do. Mirage, we should eat this, right? Yeah, we eat this. Even if it hits 5 times, but it only hits twice. I just want to see what an Ember will do. Okay, so it does a lot, but no sense in staying in here. We'll just switch out to uh, Boombox again. Because nobody else really on our team. Once Scar's leveled up, we'll be perfectly fine against Grass types, but he's still a little bit low of a level, so uh, unfortunately there's not too much that he wants to deal with uh, as he goes for the Hypnosis, which is kind of annoying. Hopefully we wake up, but if not, that's okay. Confusion does a lot, and it actually confuses me. Okay, this could be scary. We're gonna have to speed up here. Luckily, we eat Barrage. We can eat another one. We could probably eat another one, but I don't want to risk it. Confusion does so much, man. Oh, this is terrible. We're not waking up. We have no more potions. We need to wake up and hit him. Okay, there we go. And we hurt ourselves. Okay, this is not good. Hmm. Jaws doesn't want to take a... This is, this is real bad. Jaws also does not want to take a barrage, but we're going to have to bring him in. Luckily, he goes for confusion. How much does this do? It does so much. We're going to have to... We're going to have to scratch here. That does not do enough. How much does barrage do? Is this going to kill us? No. So Barrage is not uh, special. I mean, it's not a grass type move. I can never remember that. Oof. Okay, do we have any more potions? No. Houndoom might have to be the play here, guys. Or Dry Bones. We're going to go Dry Bones. You can come in and bite him. We just need to live this. Come on, Dry Bones. Pull through, baby. Pull through. Ah, oh, does he outspeed? So here's the thing, if he outspeeds, we die. I might actually have to run a calc on this. I'm going to... I need to check out Trap and just base speed. Trap Inch base speed is... Uh, 
low. Can I check his base speed? Okay, so Trapper's base speed is 10. Yeah, you can see he's not outspeeding anything, is it? Is he? Let me check out what... Yeah, he ain't outspeeding anything. Mmm. We're gonna have to hope that Houndoom lives here. Come on, Houndoom. Come on, baby. Okay, hits two times. We need him. We need him to not knock us out here. Come on, Houndoom. Only hit three times. Max three times. Come on, Houndoom. Let's go. Knock it out. Oh my god, Houndoom is so clutch. Whew. That, that was something, that was something else. No one wanted to, to deal with that there. Everyone's getting XP because literally everybody had to come in for this fight. Holy crap, we beat him. Him and his executor. Houndoom, you came in clutch in your first ever battle. We gotta run back and heal because the whole squad almost died just now. That would have been a catastrophe. If Houndoom doesn't get the knockout there, we're looking at possibly the end of the lock. And that is not something that no one experienced this early on. Uh, that was absolutely insane. Alright, so he doesn't want to battle. I always thought that he did for some reason. Okay, sorry about that. My uh, recording software kind of crashed, but I didn't get very far without you guys. I was just um, getting into this battle. As you can see, we're still here. It is This guy has a while my controller is not working we're, we're having all kinds of technical difficulties today and I am not here for it um, okay let's see what do we have what do we want here I don't really have anything that wants to take a mall while because I don't really have anything that is uh, good against her but I mean I have a hound doom but once again, he's so low leveled, I don't wanna. What what's Ma Ma Wiles? Ma Wiles typing? Uh, I think Scar can come in here and maybe survive whatever this girl wants to throw here. She's using fake tears, which I'm perfectly fine with. My special defense is dropping out my balls, but that's okay. Okay, I'm at minus four now. If this thing has an attacking move, we might lose Scar. Please do a lot. Okay, it does a lot. So hopefully we live a hit. Oh, we burn it. That's good. Okay, I'm going to switch out here. Because I don't want to get bodied by a special move here and just lose Houndoom. And of course, she uses a full restore. So I'm going to have to go back out into Houndoom anyways. What kind of rich guy is using a full restore? I'm going to sand attack away. So I'm actually going to speed this up because... Uh, this is literally just going to be the same thing. I'm just hitting it with, um, sand attacks. Three now. Four now. Don't hit me. Five now. Six now. Okay, so I've hit it with six sand attacks, so it's hopefully not hitting any move it ever goes for. And now we can use, um, some embers. I know we only saw it use Astonish, but... I don't want to take the risk of it having something else, so we're just going to sit here. Tribones gain some XP. Level 6 for Scar. Moving up. That was the only Pokemon he had, and there he goes. He gives us $1,400. And uh, I am now going to put Scar out in front. And before we do anything, before we advance, and I know we're running back and forth a lot, but we have to go heal up and get some potions because we do not have any. Plus, we get a new encounter here. So we might even grab some balls. Probably not, though. I think we're good on balls. Uh, let's grab five potions. Let me sell safeguard because we're never going to use that. Another 1,500. Um, I feel like we're good on potions. We'll grab one more antidote. And, uh, I don't really like buying balls unless we get 10, because that extra, 
that extra um, premier ball goes a long way. So I am just going to chill, and we have nine. Okay, let's get into what is this? Verdander Forest, Petalburg Woods. So let me type that. Petalburg Woods. Okay, and we're gonna get our first encounter here in Petalburg Woods. What are we really looking for? Maybe a flying type. I don't know. Nothing that's too hard to catch. For so oh my, uh, I forgot I wasn't clicked on. Yeah, I'm fine with just about anything. We're gonna go in this blade of grass here. Just give me anything decent. Oh, a pony top. Unfortunately, we already have a hound doom, so we're not really gonna need a pony top. But I mean, that's kind of cool. What did we name our Ponyta from from the other game we played? Oh, I might have to go back and check. We named it something. Was it Sacred? I want to say it was Sacred. I don't know what Let's Play it was in. But I want to say we named it Sacred. I'm going back. I know that it can't be far. Okay, it doesn't want to stay in the ball. That's okay, though. We will catch this thing. I really can't remember what we named it, man. Can we just catch this thing, please? Thank you. I think it was sacred. Don't quote me on that. But I think it was sacred. So that's what we're going to go with. Ponyta is very weak at birth. It can barely stand up. This Pokemon becomes stronger by stumbling and falling to keep up with its parent. That's kind of cool. So like I said, I think that we named it sacred. I can't remember. I think that's what it was named. I think. Uh, sacred, we're not going to use it, but we will take the item from you. A repel. That's kind of cool. I'll actually pop that right now, because why not? Pop the repel. I never buy repels, but I'll use them if they come at us. See what else we could have gotten here. A drowsy would have been cool. We don't. I guess we could have used a psychic type. We could have had a team of six, but... We've used Dream Eater in a lot of Let's Plays. It was uh, Dream Eater, our Hypno from Pokemon Red that we beat the champion with. Uh, that was a, that was probably the MVP of the team. Dream Eater absolutely carried with Psychic in the Elite Four. And uh, this thing's got a Blastoise, and I'm a Houndoom. Even though I'm way higher level than it, I don't want to be here right now. So I got to sneeze, so I'm going to mute my mic. Ah, news flash, it was a fake sneeze, I didn't even have to sneeze. It was just stuck in my nose. Wow, come on, Nodish, you're better than that. Come on, Hibiscus, the male. It's okay, though. Blastoise should grant us some, some good XP, maybe like 60 each, hopefully. Maybe even more, honestly. It might not give us like 70, 80 each. It is only level 3, though, so probably not. Yeah, 60, 65 each. Just about. Oddish grows up to level 9. I don't know when Oddish evolves. I quite honestly have forgotten. Um, I'm just gonna stay in here. I can't remember if Nidoran is ground poison or just poison or just ground, but I think it's ground poison, so. Staying in here. Just get off some absorbs. Get Oddish some XP. Yeah, so it's not very effective, but oh well. So it is pure poison. Peck. I've never understood why Nidoran gets Peck instead of like Horn Drill. Or like Horn Attack. I don't know, I feel like that just make more sense. We're fine though. A critical hit, eh? As long as you don't crit me again, we're fine. Yeah. And one more absorb should do the trick. Ooh, 
looks good for Oddish. And who else do you have? 37 XP, that's it. A Nido King, okay. Um, we'll just go out in the boom box. Safety, safety play here, I don't really know. I know Nido King has like no moves right now, but we'll be okay. Yeah, so we just absolutely blow him back. Geo dude. Now we feel safe going out into Oddish, getting some XP back. Get some HP back is what I meant to say. This should Oko and we get quite a bit of health left back. Yep. 20? Ah. Almost to 20. Moltres. Okay. We don't have a water type move on Jaws yet, but he's still probably our best bet as he resists the fire type moves. This boy's got a legit Moltres. Wing attack. Good thing we didn't stay and we'd be dead with Oddish. But we can get this boy up out of here. And it's going to move Jaws to level 11. Very good XP, 140. He's going to use Sceptile, so um, Scar's clear to just come out here and Ember away. And we will Ember him. Yes, yes. A lot of XP for Scar there, pushing to level 7. Alrighty. Now, I'd like to get through this forest by the end of the video so that we could start off tomorrow's episode with a gym battle. So that's where we're going to do calcium. That is huge. That's like almost $10,000. You couldn't ask for much more than that. I can't remember. We're just going to we're going to speed this up because I can't remember if there's an item over here. I think there is. It's like a hidden one. Yeah. Okay, good thing I came over here. Sharp beak. That doesn't really help me much, but and then if I come over here there's also another item. Super repel. Okay, cool. So repel's effect wore off. We'll just pop a super repel now. Can you move, bro? It's like trying to block me. Um, let me pop the super repel. And we'll speed up to where we were. Alright, we're right here. Oh, no, not a one to be found. Hello, have you seen any Pokemon called Shroomish around here? Oh, my nose itch is so bad. I really love that Pokemon. I was going to ambush you, but you had to do, had to dwaddle in Petalburg Woods forever, didn't you? I got sick of waiting, so here I am. You, Devin Researcher, hand over those papers. I, you're a Pokemon trainer, aren't you? You've got to help me, please. Where's my thing on disconnected so much? Huh? Huh? What do you think you're doing? What? You're going to protect him? No one crosses Team Aqua and gets, and gets any mercy, not even a kid. Come on, and battle me. Not good. Okay, Team Aqua member. Battle, ca bug catcher, grunt. Okay, and of course, what does he have? A freaking Moltres. A level 9 one too. You know, I'd rather it be Moltres than the other flying bird. Ow, dude, that, why'd they do so much? How much did that do? Okay, Ember, we eat that. Don't burn me. Thank you. That thing did so much. Okay, this is scary because we don't we do not have a water type move. Uh-oh, don't crit me. Okay, so that did eleven. start using some of our potions again. Ember. I need you to use Ember. Thank you. We can do this. Crit him. Damn it. 
Why is my thing not working? Controller, you want to work or no? Oh, it was working. My game just lagged for a little bit. Okay. Come on, controller. You can do it. Alright, now we'll use a potion. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. Oh, we dodged the crit. Okay, that's one crit out of the way. Oh, I gotta sneeze again, guys. Mm. Ember, we eat this. Scratch. Oh, another scratch isn't gonna kill. I think I'm just gonna play it slate. Play it slate. Play it safe and go out in a boombox here. Because I don't want to risk getting crit. Yeah, that only does 10. Boombox the savior. Even if he crits us, we live here. I roll and we still, we're good. Okay. We get rid of the Moltres. The squad gets a lot of XP here. Jaws up to level 12. Boombox up to level 12. And we defeated him, okay. So we get a couple of dollar bills there. Not enough to buy back all those potions we had to use, but... Grr, you've got some nerve meddling with Team Aqua. Come on and battle me again. I wish I could say that, but I'm off Pokemon. And hey, we of Team Aqua are also after something in Rustboro. I'll let you go today. Who? That was awfully close. Thanks to you, he didn't rob me of these important papers. I know, I'll give you a Great Ball as my thanks. Okay, so we get a Great Ball. Not that that's really going to help us or anything, but we do get one. As uh, that's going to be the end of today's video because it is running long and I don't want to keep you guys here too long. So I'm going to pause the game and in tomorrow's episode we'll get, we'll finish with Verdenderf, I mean Rustboro Woods, the Petalburg Woods, that's what it is. And we'll get to Rustboro and we'll battle the gym leader. And uh, so yeah, that is going to do it. I hope you guys all enjoyed. If you did, please reach the like button down below. Let's me know you guys are enjoying the series just as much as I am. I'm having a lot of fun. I hope you guys like the team because I surely do. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.